and angel fly within my life beside me in all I do. Hi everyone and welcome to your weekly angel reading for March 30th through to the 5th of April. It's Easter week and I'm going to be going back to my favourite deck which is the Angel Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine and Doreen Virtue. So let's see what the angels have to say for us for Monday and Tuesday. Alright, so here we go. This is a beautiful card for the beginning of the week. It really sets the tone. The Magician, Archangel Raziel, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Okay, so this really follows on from last week saying that we're really going from the old into the new. It's time to really set our intentions about what we desire this week. So even if you don't know exactly what it is that you desire, I'm pretty sure that you know how you want to feel. You want to feel more peaceful. You want to feel more joyful. You want everything to be more flowing. And so you can let Raziel know how you want to feel and focus on that feeling rather than the lack of it. So spend some time really getting yourself aligned with what do I desire and how do I want to feel? Because when you do that, you're literally planting seeds and allowing them to blossom, just like the flowers are doing right now in spring. Even if it's not spring and you're not in the Northern Hemisphere, this is, as I said last week, the beginning of an astrological year. It's time for us to really begin again to let us feel the opportunity of letting this be a new start. Remembering that we are powerful creators. That's not to say that we have to, you know, uh, be worried about manifesting our every thought. But the angels want us to know that we're powerful and what we focus upon does have a huge, huge impact on what we experience in the physical because we're energetic beings and when we energetically focus on what we desire as if it's already here then it's like the, the doors automatically swing open. Raziel is pointing to his halo, his rainbow halo there which you can see. He is connected to rainbow energy. If you see him around you'll see rainbows and he's wanting you to know that he's giving us physical signs this week of rainbows to remind us of his presence, to remind us to call upon him. So if you are somebody that goes outside and sees rainbows, or perhaps you might see a flash of one in your own home, that's him. It's a beautiful sign of hope and transformation, and again, of the new beginning. So do call on him for help. His crystal is actually clear quartz, and he's saying that you can hold a piece of that, or imagine it, to amplify your intentions this week. As I said, it's a powerful time for us to set intentions and to make wishes, to say prayers. It's all the same thing, really. It doesn't matter what you call it, as long as you're feeling good. Because if you're feeling good, it's a sure sign that you're focusing upon your desire rather than your fear. The uh, angels are also saying that this is a beautiful time for you to start to see yourself in the ways that other people see you. So if you have lots of people saying, oh yeah, you're beautiful and you can do it, really believe them. You have to start to really believe that if you have this beautiful encouragement in your life that's showing up as a reason that we are earth angels for each other. Now, it doesn't mean that we have to base our opinions of ourselves on what other people think of us, but usually if we're getting these repetitive signs of people saying, yay, you can do it, you're brilliant, go for it, it's just a reminder to us of the reflection of who we are. Remember, as we said, we, everyone in our lives is a reflection of us. So if you're getting support and encouragement, it's time to believe that and take action to actually start to really believe in who you are. Okay, so here we go for the middle of the week. Ace of Earth, beautiful, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So this is pointing mostly to our careers, they're saying, if you're somebody that has a, a big intention to make big changes in your career or your business life, the angels are showing me that this is a beautiful time to come together with others who match your vision, who want to support you in your business, perhaps even starting a new venture with someone, perhaps you're wanting to teach with someone, 
or to come together to start a new project. Whatever it is, there's beautiful energy around us coming together with others who share the same dreams and visions as us because when you do that with other people to support you, all kinds of beautiful things can happen. They are saying though, to, oh, Tigger agrees. They are saying that this is a time to just cross your T's and dot your I's Make sure you come to agreements that suit everyone so that you can just get on again with manifesting your beautiful intentions and your creations together without having to worry about any of the, the legal stuff or the fairness stuff. Okay, so here we go for the weekend. As you go into Easter week weekend, it's Queen of Water. So this is more of a focus on our personal lives, our families. It says tender-hearted, em empathetic, patient and loving. So that could be you or a person that you're involved with, reminding you of those qualities within you and the people. It says relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Okay, so Tig is definitely wanting to make her presence felt here. So spend time with those you love. Also spend time balancing out that energy of hard work and business with your own self-care. The angels are saying that because of the new beginnings energy, this is also to do with new people in your life, whether it's new friendships or whether friendships are developing into something more. Be honest with those people. Be honest with the people that you care about because rather than it, it pushing people away, it's going to bring you closer. So sometimes it can feel more daunting to share your innermost feelings with, with people than it actually truly is. So have courage uh, this weekend to really speak from your heart, to know that actually the people that are truly meant to be in your life are really going to be those ones who are going to love you even more for sharing those deeper, darker secrets about you. Or perhaps it's something that you wanted to say. Perhaps you really love someone and you're afraid to say it. Go for it. Life is too short not to do that, isn't it? So I'm sending you much love. All of the angels, especially Raziel, are very present with us in our new beginnings this week. This is a powerful, beautiful week to, to start afresh, to say yes to those new ideas, perhaps even those new relationships. It's an exciting time to be on the planet, beautiful people. And I just want to say thank you myself for helping me to manifest a dream come true, which was being on the uh, cover of Om Times magazine this week. It just came out yesterday and still available to read or to to uh, see on the multimedia version. It's on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Anna Taylor Music Angel, or you can go straight to the Om Times Magazine website, which I believe is omtimesmagazine.com. Oh no, omtimes.com, I believe. You can find all the information on my page, and it ha I have a, an in-depth interview which you can uh, listen to as well as read about my life, about the angels, about the things that I have learnt. And there's also at the end, I believe it's on page 25 or 26, 18 life lessons from me and the angels that I often find myself uh, referring back to because the angels remind me so often and also in my work with clients they're the things that I've really began, began to implement in my life and to remember so that I can live the life of my dreams and you know honestly I say it all the time but if I can if I can do things like this and share in these ways then you can too we're all in this together. I'm sending you much love and I'll speak to you next week. Bye-bye for now, everyone.